chicken pasta is a thing and it is glorious. First off, we're gonna start with some spicy chilies. So I've got some really spicy small chilies, which is gonna give us the heat. So I'm using three, but you can use as many or as few as you like. And then I've got my large chilies for some color and some crunch. So Pad Ki Mao uh, translates as drunken noodles. And there are lots of different stories about why, but my preferred story is that this is a super great dish for a hangover cure. <laughs> it's really spicy. It's got that great like herbaceous flavor, sort of kicks away all those cobwebs. Now the other key ingredient to this dish, apart from the spicy chilies, is the holy basil or bikrabao. Now this basil has more of a sort of higher tone minty freshness, I always think, than regular Thai basil or Italian basil. And you can tell um, that this is holy basil by the shape of the leaves. So they've got sort of like a, a torn edge uh, and they're a little bit uh, furry to touch. So you can try and find these at your Asian grocer. If not, just use Thai basil or even regular Italian basil. So to get things started, just want a little bit of oil and some chopped garlic. And now for all those spicy chilies. Whoa, that's a lot of chili. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Adding in some Chinese broccoli. You could use any kind of Asian green that you like. And I'm using prawns today. But you could do chicken, pork, beef, whatever you like. Mm, and I'm already in love with all those colors. Beautiful. Okay, so once those prawns are almost cooked, I'm gonna add in spaghetti. So this is where the fusion pasta part comes in. So uh, traditionally this is made with fresh rice noodles, but all over Bangkok, cafes are serving this now uh, with Italian spaghetti. And I have to say, I love it. I'm just adding in a little bit of that pasta cooking water to loosen up that spaghetti. Now for the sauces. So I've got some oyster sauce, fish sauce, and just some dark soy sauce for a little bit of color. And then here's the secret to getting really flavorful spaghetti. And that's to cook it al dente, so with just a little bit of bite, and then finish off that cooking in the pan. So keep it moving, tossing it around, and it'll start to soak up all those flavors that we've put into the sauce. Mm, it's looking great. Pasta's done, and now for our basil. Now you want a really good, decent handful of that basil. It's almost like another vegetable in the pasta rather than just a garnish. Toss that through. And that, my friends, is one epic pasta dish. 